my mistake i should have started recording earlier this is actually a chore that i never have recorded because i don't do it too often right now i am cleaning the fan that my angel uses in her room along with her mom but it just stopped working which is a result of a, a combination of two things from what i think one I, my first assumption was hair because you know, they both have long hair and it's easy for hair to just show up in places when you, when you least expect it but as i started taking it apart i realized that it's really dust I brought my fan in the room so that they could have it while I was just cleaning this. And they were saying like how great it works. And I told them like, yeah, cause I keep it clean. But one thing that I didn't mention that I gotta mention to them too now, when I, as soon as I'm done cleaning this up, is when the fan is not in use, you have to turn it off. Not just because of course it's gonna gather, gather unnecessary like more dust than than if you didn't have it on which kind of also suggests that they need to dust their room more, like better or more often but also um when i was touching this part right here it was actually hot from having you know being on for and heaven knows when the last time it was turned off i don't know if they had it on while they were on holiday because i didn't go in their room at all but it's possible and that's not good for any electronic like that you don't want to leave electronics on that you're not using you're just using up you know you're using up energy, which essentially the majority of energy comes from that, from, you know, oil and gas and gas. We pretty much uh, abandoned the idea of nuclear, nuclear energy because of the incidents that we had, you know, with, uh, was it Fukushima? And that one place in Ukraine, that I forget his name. Uh, there's so much dust in here that I'm trying to get as much of it off as I can. I'm using a pair of pliers, which is probably not the best thing to use, but I've gotten a lot of it off already before I started recording, actually. I should take this thing off. It's actually kind of loose. I wonder if I should tighten the screws. Now, I have to be careful when I tell my queen that, you know, there was the the room needs to be dusted more because I will probably get yelled at and along something along the lines of like, oh, you say I don't clean, then I don't do anything. Today she already said to me that nobody helps her. I went, I literally just came back from the store to get her some things and I made a mistake and I forgot to pick up a couple things and I got yelled at for that. And she's still putting out negative energy. Yes, she has a health condition, but I'm a firm believer that what you put out in the universe, you know, it, it comes back to you. So if you're gonna be saying things like, oh, I hope this kills me, da, da, da. 
you never know. And I'm already old enough that I think too many people die. When I saw that Vice video about the soldier, the, the British soldier, who was, uh, you know, who went to Afghanistan, and when he got there, you know, he pretty much realized that the whole reason we were there was for oil. <laughs> and, um, and he mentioned about how as soon as they left, the Taliban took over. And when the Taliban took over, they were able to accomplish something that the states and also the World Health Organization had been asking of the country for a long time, and that's to stop growing poppies, you know, stop, you know, because that's where the world's best heroin came from. But what the dumb policy makers who make policies on drugs, they don't realize that just because supply is down, it's not gonna, there's not, there's not gonna be a correlation between between supply and demand in this case, because drugs is a vice, it's a poison. Everybody's got their own poison, and believe me, they're... I just got yelled at for being loud. I'm gonna stop the video now. I'm just gonna tell you really quick what I'm gonna do. These here also have dust on them. I'm gonna. I'm going to. Um, Instead of go, I mean, I could go like this, take most of it off, but I'm also going to rinse it with the hose and then maybe let it dry for 15 minutes. When I'm done cleaning this, it's going to be probably, it's probably going to work better than my fan. Because my fan is not that dirty, but like I said, when, when it's not in use, even if I step out of the room for a few minutes to use the bathroom, I turn it off. I try to make it a habit. Because again, you know, we're creatures of habits. So yeah, so see, a lot of the dust already came off, but I'm still gonna, and look at this, look at the dust on this. See the difference? I may not even have to rinse it with water, but I'm still gonna do it. See like this bit, bits of hair, little bits of hair. All right, and then this is one of the last parts. Actually, let me put this back up on here. Where did this go? This one, right here. And uh, yeah, so. This is gonna be part of my playlist on en los, a los, de mi lista de oficios que he hecho varios. Saqué los weeds acá atrás que vivan por toda la acera. Llegué hasta allá, hasta ese árbol. Empecé, y después hice una parte ahí para grabar un video eh, específicamente para la señorita quien está asignada a nosotros del departamento de niños y familias porque quería comunicarme con ella sobre mi mujer y como mi mujer a veces exagera o sinceramente miente y a mí me da cosa que porque ella es una mujer 
y ahora está sufriendo uh, físicamente por quién sabe todas las cosas que ella ha hecho en su, en su vida desde joven tú sabes ella estaba involucrada en cosas que quizás yo también hice algunas de esas cosas pero yo no empecé sino hasta cuando tenía como veintipico años es la primera vez que yo usé una sustancia hecha de de, de, de papi que no era un vego yo tenía como 27 años y eso fue cuando yo dejé de, de, de beber alcohol entonces yo, lo, solo, lo único que hice fue dejé de hacer una cosa y lo reemplacé con otro pero al fin y cabo lo que no te mata es lo mejor que puedas hacer es aprender de tus errores para que salgas una persona mejor después de lo que pasó y así tú creces como una persona y tú vas cambiando día a día mami si tú estás viendo eso piensa en eso porque yo no soy el mismo niño de hace tres años por ejemplo entonces por favor piensa, piensa en eso a veces cuando yo te hago una pregunta o te estoy hablando cualquier pobre bobita bobita pero ok I gotta go I'm getting the knock on the window chao thank you uh, please help down in the comments I'm gonna put a link I could use any help even if a single soul sends me one dollar that would put a smile on my face a big smile on my face mostly because it's digital yesterday this very nice kind man from uh, Bucaramanga uh, I asked him if he had a dollar to spare he, he shot me like you know three dollars but I didn't need three dollars so I, I felt bad I went looking for him I couldn't find him so I ended up buying my mom uh, a scratch off but you know bless his soul very nice man riding a bicycle too so that's awesome anyways thank you guys ciao